Okay, so now let's do our regular thing, try to use OD45 to solve it. And uh, let's store this U as U0. Okay, and uh, so I'm going to do a loop for, let's do delta T for the point 0.1 actually 0.01 so that we see the evolution a little bit clearer and uh, for t goes from 0 to t to let's solve it to uh, 2 and uh, I have my t u is equal to ode 45 ddt finite volume and uh, the second argument is time right and the third argument is initial condition Okay, then my I set my u to be u at the end, and I'm gonna plot this. Right, do the same plot I did before. Let's make it black so that it's a little bit uh, easier to see, and uh, make y limit from minus one to one because that's what we expect our uh, solution to be drawn now. And let's pause delta t and error. Dimension of matrices being concatenated are not constant. Okay, and uh, I always expect my code to produce errors, so it's not a problem. And command history, let's do this again. Delta T, do this. Okay, another error must return a column vector. Do, do, do. Let's see. Uh, am I not returning a column vector? So size of DUDT, let's see. I'm going to evaluate this again. Oh, size of this is 10 by 10. So something must be wrong when I'm doing... Oh, divide by dx. So dx is a row vector, so let me transpose it. Okay, let's evaluate this again. Okay, now it works, but the solution doesn't look like right. Uh, I set u equal to u end, which I shouldn't. So, oh, I get just the one by one, I see. Okay. So I should be doing, e let's reset our initial condition. So do this and uh, instead, uh, wait, what am I doing? So uh, evaluate and uh, what I need to do is u is equal to u and column, right? Is that what I should do? I trust you because you just did the project. Uh, so next, after I get this, I should be doing plot and end. Okay. Size of u is 41. No, I think it should be the other way. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, I need to reset here. Yeah. Uh, set, set this, and uh, uh, I'm going to evaluate selection, and uh, let me try end column, right? Because it looks like 41 might be the number of time steps OD45 took internally. And uh, plot, while limit, draw, pause. Okay. Ooh, okay, so now I get the solution evolving, but it looks a little bit weird, right? So so let's let's do a lot finer grid to see what is actually going on, right? The, the solution looks different from the solution we expect, right? So let's do a finer grid to see actually what's going on. So let's set n to be 
thousand. Why not? Uh, where is my u zero? Uh, X and uh, u, and let's plot these to see what happens. Right. So this is my u zero. So I got a very fine discretization. You can't even see uh, that it's a piecewise. I mean, it's a piecewise constant function, but like. Uh, the, the grid is pretty fine, so I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the fineness of the grid. So let's try to solve it. Uh, to solve it, we do the same. So this is my last loop. Right, and uh, let's go evaluate. Oh, maybe I shouldn't, uh, where is my, okay. Okay, good. So we see the positive part of the solution going towards the right, negative part of the solution going towards the left, and the shock wave is now forming, right? Okay, good.